Hi, my name is Matt. This is a video about social anxiety. I have had social anxiety since the beginning of high school, I think. Before then, when I was little, I was really shy. I mean, I've always been really shy. But when I was little, I was ridiculously shy. I didn't really grow out, out of that shyness, shyness much. When I was in high school, I started, started noticing that other people weren't as shy as I was. People were growing out of the shyness. People were doing stuff socially that I couldn't do. So I started feeling really inferior. And I think the social anxiety pretty much stemmed from there, really. You know, that for me was... The start of high school was when I started to think that I was crap. <laughs> basically um, the thing I dread most or well, when I got so well, having social anxiety the situation I dread the most is if I'm in a group of people you know socializing and then all of a sudden someone will ask me a question direct question question when everyone it's like the spotlights on me everyone turns to me then you know I'm on stage no. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm in failure. Why am I, why, why is this happening to me? Why is everyone focusing on me? And I'll start, and I'll be thinking, everyone must be looking at how people must be making judgments on my appearance, you know, being critical of the way I look, the way I speak, the way I do things, my mannerisms. Because I'm thinking that I'm, I'll start to become anxious because because I'm you know because I'm getting threatened by this. My mind will just go blank. Then. My mind goes blank. And it all happens within a split second. Then. It could be any situation. A one-on-one -on -one situation, a direct question can send me blank. And it's no different from a, from a group of people, but it's a lot worse. So I've got the beam of being on stage. What I'm going to do is manage to scrape up a reply. I'll either say it, I'll either mumble it, so no one can understand what I say. I'll either say it so quietly, so no one can hear what I say. Or, oh, in worst case scenario, worst case scenario, which I've been known to do, is to say something made absolutely no sense at all. And then everyone's like, what was that, Matt? Say it again. And then, I've got to do the whole situation again. I've got to go through the mind, having the mind blankness, everyone looking at it. But this time round, it's a lot worse because everyone thinks I'm an idiot because they couldn't understand what I said. So when I come up with another reply, it'll be a completely different reply from the first reply. I won't say the same thing. There's an anxiety about around that. I don't know why. And I'll say I'll say something that's easier to say, that's shorter. And I'll come out of it and I'll, and I'll start getting the whole post-mortem thing then. I'll start to think, yeah, I'm crap. I start to withdraw socially. And when that pretty much destroys my confidence. So I, re I remember that social, social situation, that particular situation, the next time around. Because it has my confidence, it kind of hinders my ability to be assertive altogether. Whether in a group or one or one. So, it's a safety behaviour. Start to become really passive. Yeah, I'll just I'll dip into this. I'll dip in socially, but only as far as I can swim. As soon as it gets too deep, I'll start to withdraw. I'll get really passive. You know, one way dances, and I'm, it's, it's habit. And people must think I'm really ignorant for doing it. But it's. It's something I hate, and that's the one thing I hate the most. Another thing I do is 
someone asked me something in a certain tone of voice, like, you alright Matt, how are you doing today? And I'll say, yeah, fine thanks. And I'll think, why have I just said it like that? Why have I said it like that? And then, I just felt like an idiot then. But yeah. I mean, been watched doing, you know, watched socially, been watched socially struggling. It's quite hum it's a humiliating experience, I think. And I think, you know, if you, if there's other people out there who think the same way, I just want you to know you're not alone. There's lots of us who have that same experience. Saying basically, I'm, I've, I've got to be honest, I'm absolutely rubbish at summarising what I say. I'll just go round and round in circles until I'll never stop. I'll never get to a point where I'll just keep going and going and going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just 